Hi guys, uh, when you are a leader of a company or a team, once in a while you will run into rebels, people who, whatever you may do or say, always try to push back and not follow your guidance. In this video I will let you know how to deal with that. I'm Armin El Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, helping founders and professionals turn into leaders. A while ago I spoke to an entrepreneur who ran into problems with some people on his team. He told me literally, slow, no problem, stupid, no problem. The worst situation he ran into was when he had smart people on his team that were just used to being troublemakers and hindering the success and ongoing work of the company. You may ask yourself, well, how would I deal with that? How do I get people to follow my lead even if we don't agree on everything and are not necessarily friendly on a personal level? Well, first of all, you need to critically assess the situation and the personality of any sort of troublemaker in your organization. Who is this person? What are their character traits? How do they behave in meetings and general or in general around the office? Most of the time, troublemakers come in and try to do their own thing, not listening to higher ups or collaborating uh, or not collaborating with team mem with teammates. Uh, this is often paired with a Johnny Know All attitude. They think that they only um, are right, that their opinion is correct, and uh, neither seek nor accept feedback or help from anybody. They also tend to think that they are smarter than you and should actually run the business themselves. Given these circumstances, they are still often critical of other employees' work and more often than not critical of the boss's work. If this is a positive and constructive, it's fine. But here it is also very important, again, to understand their personality and um, uh, to have a path to get through to them and maybe have a chance of improving uh, the situation. So what can you do as the leader of your team? First of all, you must sh mustn't shy away. Uh, you need to seek for an opportunity to openly communicate with any rebel on your team, uh, explain your expectations clearly for them, and to, underst uh, and to understand and uh, for, uh, to ask for commitment on their part only once and define a deadline by which you want to see a major improvement. In, if this behavior um, doesn't change, if your expectation is not met, then the only, the only possibility is to fire them. It is important that you do not accept the behavior for too long, as it will weaken your position of your position as a leader and also weaken your team um, and anyone else in the company. Uh, so uh, you must stay strong. You may ask yourself, why is it so important? Well, there are always going to be troublemakers and problems and interpersonal difficulties, you might say, in the workplace. So must I be so strict in situations like this? The answer to that is quite easy and lies not only in the fact that you must strengthen your position as a strong leader. Dealing with rebels will always be time-consuming and at a certain point it will be too much and keep you from doing more important work. Rebels bring negative to you but to a team also and possibly an entire company. The effect of this will likely be demotivating and stand in the way of your team and your business achieving success as soon as possible. As a conclusion be open to critical team members and learn from them. If it is constructive, constructive, that's good. But do not accept by all means criticism for criticism's sake. Arrogance or ignorance. Fire early if needed and look ahead. You will feel better afterwards. I have never fired anybody too early. Always too late. Too late. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with feedback if you liked it. I will respond personally to all of your comments. If you would like to have some help 
on one of your specific leadership challenges, please apply for a 100% free personal mentoring session with me. Thank you. have a look at your application and contact you if there is a good fit. Thanks for watching. See you next week and don't forget, lead yourself.